I was on Twitter the other day, weird place by the way, and I came across this guy, Alexander Belogubov. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. He popped up on my Twitter timeline and he was talking about something that he created called Reply Guy. And I clicked on it and it looked quite interesting. So I thought we'd just have a look at it together and create an account and see what it's all about um, and see if it's any good and see if we can actually use it. I'm sure you can read, but it's the AI that plugs your product on Reddit and Twitter. Reply Guy mentions your product in conversations naturally. Get leads. So I've got a software as a service. It's free to use. So if you want to use it, use it. It's a service area checking WordPress plugin and API. So let's use Reply Guy and see if we can get more signups and just see how it works. It's because it's interesting. So let's have a look. Let's go down and find a free trial of some sort. Free, free. I like the word free. Good word. So let's do that. So log in with Google or email. Oh, okay. I need to go into my emails. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so you get an email, sign in. That was nice and easy. Okay, cool. So just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. So just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, this is my website, Service Area Wizard. And it's, as I said, just a, it's a service area checking service. So service, I said service way too many times. So basically you can put a form on a website and so it tells you if a postcode is in or out of your service area. Anyway, so you get the point and it's got an API as well. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. The point is we're going to use Reply Guy to try and promote this. So create your first project. Brand name is Service Area Wizard. The domain is serviceareawizard.com. A short description of my product. So a service area checking. I'm going to say WordPress plugin and API. Checks if a post code is in side or outside of a service area radius. Okay, add. AI just suggested keywords. Okay, what now? Okay. Oh, okay, so I just want to pick five, you can pick five of them. Okay. Let's just do that and see what happens. Save. So I don't know if we get the option to pick Twitter or Reddit. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I don't really have much experience with Reddit. And I did, I did read a little bit and I think they post from their own accounts and you have the option to post from your own account if you want to, but I'm not going to, I'm going to try and do it from their accounts if I can. This data is updated and will be available within two minutes. So is that now doing it? Is that just doing it? So on the free plan, you get two replies. So I'm guessing it just gives you like a, just like a little, um, taster of it. Well, let's just see what happens in two minutes, if anything happens. And if it doesn't, I might just tweet something and see if it replies automatically based on the keywords I put in. Let's just refresh it. Okay. So this basically, I'm guessing it like scrapes, searches through, should I say, Reddit. Okay. 
So I can see how this is actually very useful. I think I need to change my keywords and maybe add negative keywords. So I'm guessing the usefulness of this tool is down to how well you configure it and how much effort you put in. So I didn't put in much effort then and I've just got lots of results with any vague mention of the word service area. So I, sh I need to be more specific and narrow that down to something that my customers would be looking for, which is excluding out of area leads is more, that's more relevant. So I wonder if I can kind of refine that a little bit, or if that's me, if I've used up my keywords now and I'm just done, um, cause that would be weird if it is. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what happens. So I'm gonna add, if I can, out of area leads. So let's get rid of that. And API, I mean, that's, that's vague, isn't it? That is very vague. So that's probably not that useful. So actually I'm gonna delete probably most of these, if not all, and then we'll try again and see what happens. So let's just add. Okay, so if I put exclude out of area, I want to say leads or inquiries, but I don't think people can be that specific. So let's just save that. Maybe I could add service area checking plugin. So I'm going to add service area checking or service area check. and service area plugin and service area API. I can see the benefit of maybe having a, a paid for plan where you can add more keywords. While that's updating, let's have a look at the other options. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. So LinkedIn as well. And then you can select if you want them to mention the name or the URL or name or only the URL. Okay. Okay, so this is for them to automatically reply, which I thought it did anyway, but I was seeing the option to send replies in here. Not in here. Where was it? Was it replies? Was it mentions? What was it? Mentions. So I'm still getting results for API and radius, even though I deleted those. So maybe I just need to wait of minutes okay so need to figure out how to reset this because i don't want to be seeing all these results so yeah this is the key isn't it configuring it correctly getting the keywords that's what's difficult i think my my service is quite niche like i don't get loads of traffic to it anyway i don't think that many people are actually looking for it do you know what? I think I've realized why I'm not getting the results. It's probably because I've gone so niche now, because my product is quite niche, that I'm not getting fresh results. So if I add something else, like something broad, I'll probably see fresh results coming through. That's probably what's going on. That's probably what's going on. I see you have to wait. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Replies on Service Area Wizard. Let's see what this is then. Oh, I have a go replies. Let's check this one. <laughs> yeah, that one's not, that's not relevant. I don't think. Okay, yeah, look. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. I see how this is good. That was bad though. That wasn't good. 
So what you need to do is you need to make sure you configure your keywords well and you need to put in negative keywords. Basically, it's a good tool when used in the right circumstances. I didn't use it correctly and I used up my two free, my two free replies wastefully, wasted them. So, so this is a post about the football team, PSG, soccer, if you're American and if you're Australian, probably soccer. This is a post about them making a new stadium and because it had the word radius in it, 20 kilometer radius of the capital, it decided to talk about my WordPress plugin that checks service area based on radius. So that was, that was a bit of a fail on my part because I just jumped straight in and just wasted my replies. But like I said, if you configure that, I bet you can make that so effective. Can you imagine how much time that's going to save you? And the replies are actually pretty, really good, really natural sounding. So that's good. That's really good. I'm going to have a think about how I can actually use this on something else relevant. I'm going to be building a new software as a service. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because you're going to steal my idea, aren't you? I know what you're like. So I'm going to be creating that and it's going to be a lot more mainstream. It's, it's business related and I think it's actually going to have a lot more content around it. And it's going to be easier to target. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'll do another video. Once I've created this new software as a service, I'm going to use reply guy on that and I'll have to pay to um, have a significant number of replies and keywords. And I think it'll be a lot better, but yeah, my verdict on that is it's pretty good. As long as you're using it for the right situation, if you're not just trying to cram an example in like I just did. So you can see how that's good. Um, let me know if you've used it. Let me know if you've used this for your own projects and let me know what you're working on as well. I'd be interested to check out what you guys are working on. Leave that in a comment below or send me a tweet or something. So yeah, rambled on for a long time there, a long time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.